you can see that the screen has shattered. Just gotta wipe off these edges, carefully, slowly aligning the, the screen protector. As you can see, once it's all put together, there we go guys, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be looking at this Motorola Hyper One. This is what happens when you drop your phone and it falls on the screen. You just get it shuttered. You can see that the screen has shattered. And the good thing is it actually hasn't shuttered, it's just the screen protector that has shuttered. And this is why you want to have a screen protector always on your phone, no matter if you just bought it or if it's an old phone, because it's going to save you from the costly repair. I have bought this screen protector for about $10. And this is just a regular 9H screen protector, which has prevented my phone screen from being broken. So I want to share how important it is to have a screen protector. And today we're going to be replacing this screen protector together. If you want to change the screen protector yourself, it's real easy done. You don't even need to take it to any repair shops. As you can see, the screen is fully functional. Everything's working. There is no problem with the, with the screen itself. And I'm really happy because I didn't want to replace the screen on this phone. I really think this is a great idea to have a screen protector. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the damage that we got so I'm just gonna zoom it up a little bit and see if you can uh, actually see the damage that was that happened to it so as you can see it's uh, yeah, everything's working but you gotta put it at an angle to see the damage to see the cracks on the screen yeah there we go so if I put it like this you can actually see the cracks on the screen that would have been the screen of this phone if we wouldn't have the screen protector put on in time. So very nice that we have it put on and now we don't have to replace this screen. Let's go ahead and take it off right now and put the new screen on so that we can have a better protection. Even though if, if you don't replace it, it's probably going to be fine for a long time. So, But I want to have a nice new screen because I have a two-pack so I can use another one to make it look like it's a brand new phone. Okay, let's go ahead and do it right now. All right, so there we go. This is the screen protector that I got, and it's a nine age hardness. It's ultra thin, it's scratch resistant. It's got a oleophobic coating, which is supposed to protect it from having fingerprints. And it does work. You Like if I turn the screen off, for example, you can see that there's not too many fingerprints on my phone, even though you press on it so it does work somehow but you still have to wipe it off once in a while so it is pretty cheap it's only like ten dollars for a three pack so i do recommend getting one of this and you don't even need to have a very expensive screen protector to protect your phone screen from cracking definitely worth it so the first thing you want to do to change the screen protector let's go ahead and turn off the phone once it's power off we're going to take the case off inspect the phone make sure there is no other damage and another important component about the phone protection is your case. And I do recommend getting one of these cases. This is called the Casemate Clear Case, which is really great. It's pretty thin, but it does protect your phone really good. It's rigid. I think it's even guaranteed to protect your phone from 10 feet fall. This is really great protection for your phone. And once I have a little review video about this, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check it out. And as you can see, the phone is absolutely fine. There is no damage to the phone, which is really great. I was hoping it's gonna protect it, and it did. This phone looks like brand new. If you have a look, there is no damage to it at all. We were pretty lucky. We had this case and the screen protector so that our phone didn't get damaged. So, so the next thing is you wanna go ahead and take off the old screen protector. And once you take the old screen protector, it's going to crack into pieces because it's basically like your car glass. It's hardened glass and whenever you try to peel it off, it's just going to crack more. So, But it's not dangerous because it's hardened and it's also plastic, so you're not going to cut yourself. So what I can do, grab it from one end like this and start lifting. Basically, when it's going to come to those cracks, it's going to come up like this, as you can see. So let's just go ahead and pull it off and remove this broken. Try not to break it too much because there is going to be some plastic pieces everywhere if you break it too much. So 
there we go. Yeah, this is a, uh, it's hard to see because it's actually clear, but you can see there's cracks all over the place and it did come off real good. This is what saved our phone screen from being cracked. I'm so happy. And if we go ahead and inspect the screen, it looks intact, it's mint, there is no signs of wear, there is no any scratches. And this is another great feature, it actually protects your phone not from just breaking your screen, but also from minor scratches, from dust, from anything that would make your phone look like it's an old phone. Basically, really great investment, just buy a $10 screen protector and protect your phone. So the next step, what you want to do is actually clean up your screen. And usually this package, they come with a few things like a installation cleaning kit. So you want to use one of them. And they do help you to install the screen protector. As you can see, we have this one right here. And it's a brand new screen protector. So we're going to use that. Put this aside for now. And let's see what's in this kit here. Just gotta open it up. And what they usually include, they just include a couple of wet wipes and a couple of the, they actually include one wet wipe, one dry wipe to clean the screen. And then after you clean the screen, there's also the guide stickers, which are pretty good. I like to use them, but they're not as good as some other screen protectors. In some other screen protector packages, you get these application helpers and these are really great because if you can get one of the screen protector package with this screen protector helpers, this is really great because all you do is just attach them on the screen protector and then you can hold it by these stickers right here and apply the screen protector to the screen and you don't have to worry about actually holding it with your fingers and getting some fingerprints on the other side of the screen protector. So really great. I'm going to use the, one of these for this one, though it didn't come with one, but I do have it from a different screen protector phone. So I always try to keep all of them. Since we are replacing this screen protector, the screen is pretty clean. All we need to do is just make sure that we clean up these edges because there is dust usually gets on the edges and we might not put it the same way as we had it before. So we want to make sure there is going to be no dust or no dirt on the edges because if there is it's not going to stick very good so you just got to wipe off these edges and just like this there we go so the rest of the screen is mint we're not trying not to touch it much because it's already clean and then you just got to use this uh, this dry wipe which will wipe off this uh, liquid on the screen. There is little square wipes here so we just gotta go around and wipe off all the liquid that's on the edges here. And then it, make sure there is no dust whatsoever. You just gotta be very careful when you do this because it's easy to just miss some streaks so you have to kind of look at it at different angles make sure there is no streaks at all. If you leave a little bit of dust, it's not going to stick good and then you get bubbles under the screen, so which is not going to look very nice. If you want to make it look professional, make sure to clean it up perfectly. And yeah, so like right now I can see it, there's absolutely nothing on the screen, so it's it's good time right now to go ahead and put the screen protector on and try not to wait too long because if you wait too long, there might be some dust settling down and get on the screen. So let's just put it aside quickly here. Then we just got to grab our screen protector. As you can see, this is our new screen protector. And you have to peel this off before you mask it to the application. So this is going to be the side where it's going to be going on the screen. So we're just going to flip it around like this. And we're going to be using this screen protector application helper stickers. Yeah, well, you guys got to peel one off just like this. It's pretty, pretty cool thing. You got to apply it like this. So it's basically, you have these tabs sticking out and that you have something to grab onto. 
And this will help us to hold the screen protector when we apply this screen protector on our on our screen. So you gotta apply one to each side and like I said these are really great features I love them. So there we go so just like this you, you can hold it like this and then apply it to your phone. Let's go ahead and check out make sure there is no dust or anything again and I don't see any any dust or anything at all on the screen so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the screen protector right now okay so now what we can do we can go ahead and peel this plastic off before we apply it to the screen so you just gotta grab on this tab here just pull back and make sure there is no dust falling down on this side of the screen protector because it will be almost impossible to get it off so right now you can go ahead and grab it by these tabs here just hold it like this and now we have our screen protector ready ready to go now you have to be just carefully slowly aligning the the screen protector on the screen and then once you align it you can just let it go and press it on the, in the middle of the screen and as you can see it starts to form going back to the edges here so once you see it's fully filled make sure there's no bubbles like you see there is one right here you just gotta press it and it's gonna go out sometimes you may not be able to get out some of them because it could be just the fault of the screen protector itself the way it's shaped but most of the time you can get a pretty perfect screen protector put on so what you can do is just gonna grab like a microfiber towel and just go like this and wipe it off and now you have to get rid of these assistant tubs but make sure when you pull these assistant tubs you go really slow and you want to hold it by the edge here so that you're not going to lift off the, scr uh, the screen protector itself because they're pretty sticky and if you don't hold it it's actually going to lift off the screen protector and you might get some dust or some bubbles formed so yeah just go really slow and peel it off and as you can see I did miss one bubble here and I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of it now so yeah you just got to lift it up I would just go like this probably and lift it up get rid of this there we go so as you can see once we wipe it off it didn't form too great actually I would say it's four out of five it definitely could be better but there is a difference between one to another and I did one before and it formed perfectly so it's kind of hard to see what's gonna happen and I think this is why they include three different screen protectors so in case one doesn't work the other one will so if you have more of them you can just go ahead and try again but it, right now it's actually this is the way it has formed as you can see once it's all put together and when the screen is on you can barely see there's anything there's a little bit of bubble on the bottom here but overall you don't see any cracks on the screen so it's very nice it's all good it has protected the screen like it should and uh, yeah everything works great and uh, this was a quick easy tutorial how to replace your screen protector so I hope this video was helpful to you if you like it please support it with your like if you're new to the channel please subscribe click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos and if you have any comments or questions always leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you soon have a good day bye bye